Uh, they're a fantastic program. They're hard to play against. Um, you know, Coach has a system and it's very effective. Um, but I thought that we hit a lot of the marks that we tried to hit. To hold a team like that to 76 points is a heck of an effort. And um, our guys were just, they were levitating to play the game and they got off to a start that was unbelievable. I couldn't script it any better the way we guarded early in the game. And that's what got us our lead. So um, it was a heck of a basketball game today. Uh, one of the things we talked about, and we talk about it every game, you know, is, is poise. You know, because you know a team like that's going to make a run. You know, we weren't going to have a 16-point lead the whole game. Um, you know, but the thing is, these guys are trained for this. That's why we make practices the way we make practices. That's why I put as much pressure as I can on them, you know, so they can shine in these moments right here. When they got it to one point, I don't think anybody on our bench was, was panicked, like, okay, we're in trouble. It was just time to make a play. You know, and that's what we did. We continued to answer any kind of run that they made. And again, that's a credit to our guys and their toughness. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, give glory to God because without him, we wouldn't be here. And then, uh, I mean, confidence is a big key. We went to the Muhammad Ali Museum, and that's the one thing we all took out of it was confidence. And Coach installs confidence in all of us, and he, he always told me to keep shooting the ball, and that's what I did. By nature, I'm a risk taker. He's no good to me on the bench in those situations right there. You know, we're trying to win the game like right now. And I understand your question, and it's a great question. You know, it, it also comes down to trust, too. I trust BJ to be smart. He got a bad break on that reach call, you know. Um, but I trust, I trust our players, and, you know, it's about trying to win the game and just going with your guts, you know. And he's played on those kind of fouls before. I was probably you know, more liberal than I normally am, but uh, the stakes are a little bit higher. And I, it, the one mes message that I sent to our team is, you got to play fearless in these situations right here. So that was a gut call, you know, and you know, whatever happened, happened. Uh, yes, yeah, so against Adam State early in the season, I played the first half of four fouls actually. So it was, it was nothing new. He, is, he trusted me. So that's a big thing between me and coach and our relationship. I trust you. You got the foul. You got the third foul. <laughs> uh, look, um, you know, we said in the locker room, the start of the game, everyone has to be aggressive. Um, I think, you know, when all five of us look at a score and we're an unselfish team, you know, when we penetrate and kick for each other and, you know, try to get the guys that are feeling it, the ball, uh, we're a tough team to stop. So I think, you know, I just fed off other guys. And, yeah. Well, Angela, it's time to talk about it now. Let's talk about it. It's reality now. I, I can't hold these guys off anymore. And, and you know, I tried to pace our expectations because the thing is you get consumed with the end result. Um, well, it's almost here now. I mean, we're in the national championship game, and, you know, it's an unbelievable feeling in terms of just watching the progression of these guys, you know. And the thing that really got us ready, to be honest with you, is our South Central Regional Tournament was big time in terms of the opponents that we played. You know, that was the best medicine we could have to get ready for this particular tournament right here. I think all those games were as tough as these two games here. And that's no disrespect, because they were both wars in terms of games. Um, you know, I, I've sold a dream for three years now in terms of having an opportunity to try and get back to the national championship game. Not only that, but to win it. But, you know, now the dream's kind of becoming a reality for our guys now. I mean, we're there. We got more work to do, but I'm going to enjoy this thing up to the last minute till we tip it on the national championship game. I'm, I'm just extremely proud of our guys, and, you know, I'm like a proud father. You know, you see your kids achieve at a high level. There's no better feeling.